Ukrainian fighters inside the Severodonetsk Azik chemical plant ignored a Russian ultimatum to surrender, as the United Nations warned essential supplies are running out for the thousands of civilians trapped in the city, including many sheltering in the facility. For both Russian and Ukrainian forces, fighting for key towns and cities such as Severodonetsk was devolving to small groups of troops typically operating on foot, the United Kingdom's defense ministry said. The Russian military said it used long-range missiles to destroy a depot in Ukraine's western region of Lviv near the Polish border where ammunition for NATO-supplied weapons was stored. Two United States citizens who traveled to Ukraine to fight against Russian forces have been missing for a week and are feared captured, family members said. A White House national security spokesperson said if the reports are true, the U.S. will do everything we can to get them back. Washington announced an additional $1 billion in security assistance to Ukraine, including 18 howitzers, 36,000 rounds of ammunition, and 18 tactical vehicles to tow the howitzers. Russia's UN ambassador denounced Western countries for supplying weaponry to Ukraine.